You're in the Business Insurance Zone with me, Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and contributor to Backroom Technician. This week on the Biz Income Tax Planning Series for 2013 and on today's show, Social Security Taxation and Planning with National Columnist, Certified National Planner and CPA, Ken Davis. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Well, welcome everyone to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm your host, Steve Savannah. We're broadcasting to a nationwide audience of financial advisors right here in Fountain Hills, Arizona, home of America's largest fountain. And day four with us, Mr. CLU, CHFC, CFP, and CPA himself, Ken Davis. Stephen, good to see you again. Well, it's always good to see you. I'm still recovering from yesterday's. My, everything is correlated, and, you know, and I can't move one part of the mechanics of my 1040 without affecting something else, and especially when I think about our seniors, because I think that's the heartache that we're talking about. And today, we're going to talk about Social Security. We're going to do Social Security planning first, and then we're going to talk about Social Security taxation. Remember, we have docs on all this. All you have to do is hop out to our site and say, Steve, I want it, thebiz.tv. Sign in, and we'll go ahead and send it to you. Ken, let's, let's talk about planning. Well, and let's make sure we, we know, our listeners know what we're talking about. We're talking about the income and electing your Social Security mm -hmm. at the right time, at the right age, so you've now reached potentially the early age of 62 mm -hmm. for Social Security income for either you and or your spouse, or Steve, interestingly enough, your ex-spouse comes into the equation as well. And now, now, Ken and I did a show all on Social Security, and the number one show of the entire week was, hey, I can get money off my ex. I love that. So talk a little bit about that, well, and we'll move on yeah, to the main very, part. Yeah, very briefly, if you were married for 10 years or more, in addition to your normal Social Security benefit, you have rights to a spousal benefit and to a survivorship or a survivor benefit. And uh, you can base those elections on your former spouse of 10 years or more or your current spouse. And there's all kinds of intricate rules as to when you can elect and when you can't and if you remarry or not. So we're mm -hmm. not going to go into that today, but, but that's on our prior show. If I understood you, <laughs> if you have two or three marriages and they all lasted 10 years, I just want to know which one is the has the best deal and that's the one you're going to pick. Well, I just had a client who uh, is widowed. She's taking her survivor benefit. She's currently 61 years old. We'll leave that in place till she's 66 at full retirement age. She will then switch to the spousal benefit on her current husband, who she married one month earlier. Then uh, she'll keep that in place till 70 when she turns her own full benefit on. And then that'll stay in place until presumably the husband will pass away because he's quite mm -hmm. a bit older and we men unfortunately die earlier. Uh, then she would get the full survivor benefit of his. So four different calculations, all different timing. Wow. And, and that's what can be done. And, and those types of methodologies, in that case, added over $100,000 of additional lifetime income. Mm -hmm. Not future income of payments all added up in inflated dollars. That is in today's dollars. It's like, here's a $100,000 check. Current Go money. put it in the bank. Wow. Well, when we're planning, and I mean, we've got a plan, and we just talked about divorce as one little piece of that. Yeah. When we're talking about planning for Social Security, what are the things that I need to know about as an advisor so I can bring to the table? I'm trying to bring distinctive value to my client. So what's one of those value propositions you can bring to the table on Social Security planning? Well, uh, I would do one of two things. I would either hook up with somebody who has studied the law. Of course, this is self-serving, like somebody like myself, but there's others that have mm -hmm. done it. There are software packages available. You can go out on the web and Google it and find mm -hmm. services and support if you want. But don't just think you can plug it into the computer. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to understand some of the surrounding law. Uh, NOLO, which is a publisher, does a 500-page book on Medicare, Social Security, mm -hmm. Medicaid planning. Uh, I've, I've looked at that. I've got the software. Learning about Social Security, people are interested. And as I'm mm -hmm. talking to my CPA friends and I start telling them I'm doing Social Security, they say, oh, my client's asking me about that all day long. Other financial planners are asking, mm -hmm. say their, their clients ask about it. Uh, so knowing Social Security can open up new conversations with brand new clients or even existing clients. Mm -hmm. And if you're not talking to your existing clients, Somebody. be careful. Guys like me are going to come in right. behind the end, open up the back door, go in there, and oh, by the way, we just did this calculation. I just made you $100,000 more. Would you like me to talk about how I can reduce mm -hmm. taxes on that, which involves annuity layering, which means I start pulling business away. Mm -hmm. Well, think about it also, if you say, boy, I, I want to do this, Steve, I got plenty of clientele, but I'm still a little nervous about Social Security. I haven't done it. Well, you just go ahead. You can contact Ken through our show. Happy to talk, have you talk to him. He does a lot of sharing uh, cases mm -hmm. with a lot of our agents. We're happy to do that. And so don't feel bad at all. You can contact him and he'll mm -hmm. walk you through it. And of course, when he's on, when you're on 
the online internet like we are and Ken's on there, your client's going to feel really good because they'll be able to see some of his other shows and get real comfortable with you talking with Ken to help them out on Social Security. We're talking about planning for Social Security. It's really important because now it's becoming almost right on par with getting ready to make retirement models for our senior citizens. Because do I take it at 62? Do I take it at 66 if you're a baby boomer? Should I wait? Because what other investment's gonna give me 8%? Should I wait till 70? Well, generally the, ca the conclusion will be wait till 70 because the early retirement benefit at 62 is almost doubled at 70. So we have an opportunity as financial planners or advisors to go in and say, here's other resources that you can draw from and I can tell you, when you do the financial modeling, using other assets first and letting this grow generally will win most of the time. Mm -hmm. And so we really need to help our clients understand that and find other creative ways to fill in those gaps while they're waiting for it to kick in at 70. And some of those gaps are some of this, these partial benefits that you were talking right. about. Mm -hmm. I think it's really huge because I think you told me on when we did the show, there's like 81 different calculations and iterations that you can do on this. I well, mean, it's, it's, it's actually more than that. It's nine ages for husband, nine ages for wife, multiplied together is 81 combinations. And then there's up to nine switching strategies with these other uh, benefits that you can move back and forth with. And that gets you into the hundreds. I saw one calculation pop up at over a thousand calculations on my software. And you can keep this straight. The, the software helps me keep it straight. I think I just met Ken Davis the old Star Trek, Mr. Data. You know, I mean, this is a lot of calculations to take, but, but is it worth getting involved in? Totally. This and Medicare are, Medicare are huge for our senior market. It really is. We come back, we're gonna talk more about Social Security, taxation and planning, part of our income tax planning for 2013 with Ken Davis. And don't forget, you can enroll in IULUniversity.com for the best training, education and sales support when it comes to life insurance for retirement income. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Did you know the average 401k runs out of money just seven to eight years into retirement? Time Magazine, The Wall Street Journal, and many other publications have warned of the difficulty of saving with a 401k. But what if there was a way to create tax-free lifetime retirement income with no stock market risk? Good news, there is. You know, living in fear of the next market dive is not the way I want to live my life. Why would I go out there and take on risk when I don't need to? I have a lot less stress knowing I can't lose any more of my retirement savings in the stock market. Call now to receive your free, no obligation analysis of what this retirement vehicle could do for you. A comparison to your current retirement plan and a free video that explains this exciting opportunity. Start planning a retirement you can enjoy instead of worrying about future tax increases and stock market losses. Creating income that will last your entire life is the most important thing you'll ever do. Take control of your future. Call now for your free analysis, comparison, and video. Well, welcome back to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm Steve Savant with Ken Davis. And remember, you can order today's materials at thebiz.tv. And while you're out there, click on the backroom technician icon for a 30-day free trial offer for access to the best needs analysis and client education materials that address almost every area of financial planning. And I gotta say, I've been using it for almost 22 years and it's huge. And I'm a contributor for Beckham Technician. If you haven't tried this, 30 days, complete free trial, just drive it. Ken Holland, you've been using this for a long time yourself. Using it for years and years. And one of the things you taught is if I need to give a speech or a talk to clients or CPAs or whatever, I just go and pick out the articles I want. It creates a, a contents list. Uh, and I just hand it out as a handout and it has a cover page and it's like, wow, look what Ken wrote. Well, no, I didn't write it, but it looks very professional. It's professional. I've been using it for, I, for years for CE filing. Yep. I mean, we've been doing this for a long time, yep. so it's huge. And if you need something to give to your client, and not, I'm not going to say every broker dealer has went through the actual due diligence process of backroom technicians, most but most of them have, and they agree it's better to have you send that than you to write about it. So I think that's the way to go. And remember, just why we're talking about this, Always consult your tax advisor and your broker dealer compliance department before going forward with anything we talk about on the show. And what are we talking about? Social Security. We talked in the first part, planning. Now we're going to talk a little bit about taxation. Now this was painful because we got into this a little bit Tuesday and the generic. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to talk about it because we are seeing seniors getting killed on this issue. 
because of money coming in and the taxation. I mean, when I look at this, Ken, I was told by the government, I mean, this is way back pre-80, we're never going to tax Social Security. And now they do. And now they're talking about even more severe means testing. I don't know how much more severe it can be. Talk a little bit about taxation because I think a lot of our seniors don't realize how much of their benefits are being lost back to the government in taxes. Uh, one of the articles I did on uh, one of the insurance websites uh, took a 65-year-old woman, single, and at a 25% tax bracket and showed what uh, 10,000 of income increase or decrease would mean to her taxation. And you would think, well, 25% times 10,000 is a $2,500 tax savings. Mm -hmm. Well, the fact is it was a $4,200 tax saving. You go, what? Well, what was happening is as you reduce an income a dollar, because Social Security had been included at 85 cents on the dollar, that was really a dollar 85 reduction in taxable income. So the net effect was 42% in this particular example. And of course, some examples work, some don't. Uh, but the fact matter is for quite a number of people, uh, income causes Social Security to be taxed. And that's where the planning com opportunity comes in mm -hmm. is to rework the balance sheet to have uh, cash flow and interest earnings uh, that are deferred or not currently taxable so that we can not only affect the current taxes, but the inclusion or, or exclusion of Social Security income in the tax base. Tax planning is huge on this issue. We're going to talk about deferral tomorrow. It's, you, it'll be all in. We're going to talk about annuities, life insurance, and the impact that it has. But I have to say that I'm really surprised because when Ken took this example, this wasn't a wealthy no. geriatric. This no. wasn't a wealthy senior. No. This is a regular middle class survivor. Her husband's already died and passed on. And we're looking at a set of 2500 And all of a sudden, the impact, $4,200. Now, Ken, I'm on sorry. On 10 grand of income. On 10 grand of income. That's just not right. And they haven't fixed this in the code. And so most of us that are dealing with seniors, when they see this and you give them an opportunity to plan in advance for next year's taxation, this is a huge way to get in and start to sell what I believe are quality tax deferred products. Well, and, and the other thing too for our, our advisors who are looking for a way to contact and get in touch with new clients. Uh, Social Security planning can be offered as a consult. Instead of selling a product, instead of making a commission, we're afraid of charging fees. But in this case, you know, if you can put another $50,000 to $100,000 in somebody's pocket with this planning, you could charge easily. And I have, you know, $299, bucks, 300 bucks just to do the calculations with no requirement to buy anything from you. Mm -hmm. Which then, once you've built that relationship, you're now the consultant instead of the salesperson you can then lead into, how would you like me to show you how to reduce or eliminate the taxation of Social Security income now that we've produced it? Can't guarantee that'll get done, but if you'll give me some additional information, I'll see if it's possible. Ken, did I just hear the analytic Ken Davis CPA and certified financial planner say $299 instead of $300 for his fee just to be able to get under <laughs> that number? A little marketing going on here? Sure, why not? Okay, all right. Well, hey, I've lived to see the day. 24 years I've known Ken, and now he's uh, becoming a marketer by dropping it underneath the $300 threshold for his fee. Well, I learned a valuable lesson years ago. As a CPA, it was always the substance of the matter. Really didn't care about the packaging or how pretty it looked. And then I watched my friends in the financial services industry and realized packaging is important, presentation is important, how you say things and present to people makes a difference. And you could say that's manipulative. I don't think so. It's, you have to get the message across your client. They have to understand what it is you mm -hmm. have to offer. And that was the lesson that my colleagues in this mm -hmm. industry imparted to me was substance is great, but they need to understand why they want to do it. Well, I had a client uh, a couple of years back where he came to me and he, th and he had a inordinate amount of uh, municipal bonds in his portfolio. And he told me, I said I couldn't really help him until I saw his 1040, he sent it to me. I called you, I don't know if you remember this case. Mm -hmm. It was heavily involved in munis and some of those munis, not all, but some of them were subject to the AMT. But all of the municipal bond income was subject for the social security provisional income That's test. Right. When I told this client he was paying, taxes. His Social Security was being taxed because of his so-called tax-free, right, municipal bonds, a, and he was paying AMT and taxes on his Social Security. I got to tell you, he thought I didn't know my business. He sent it to me. Ken and I talked about it, walked him back through the, and he fired his CPA summarily. Remember, you can watch all our shows by going out to our website, 
thebiz.tv. And you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Google+. Well, that's the buzz on the biz for today. You've been in the zone, the business insurance zone. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use.